that is our butternut squash soup. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Jameson and this is how I cook. Fall is upon us and that means that we're going to be making some soups over the coming weeks and I want to show you how to make an easy butternut squash soup using my instant pot electric pressure cooker. It's a super simple recipe, really simple ingredients, and the finished product is an amazing pureed soup featuring delicious butternut squash. And I can't wait for you guys to have my recipe up next. Okay guys, here are our ingredients. Before we get too far into this explanation, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It really does help, especially because I'm a new channel and turn on those notifications so that you can see when I post new videos, cooking amazing recipes. This is the star of our show, the butternut squash. And this is about a five pound squash. You're gonna find squash obviously different sizes at your market. So you can adjust the seasonings as you see fit, but I'm gonna show you generally where we start from. And this is a five pound squash. I've also got some chicken broth. This is what we're gonna to use to help add some um, fluid and liquid to our soup. I've got salt and pepper. I've also got a yellow onion. I've got my friend here, Mr. Accent. I've got some garlic powder. I've got a chicken bouillon cube for additional flavor. And lastly, we're gonna finish our soup with a touch of heavy cream at the very end. So how do we go about peeling this butternut squash? I have a boning knife and I use this obviously to bone out things, uh, different pieces of meat that I'm, I'm cutting up. But this is really useful for doing something that has an odd shape to it, these, all these contours. And this is a pretty hard squash, so you need a knife with some, with some oomph to it and a really sharp knife. So this is where I'm gonna use my boning knife. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by cutting right here. And then what I'm gonna do is take the top off of this as well. Now the boning knife makes this super easy because what I'm gonna do is just take my time and slice along the edge like this. So there we have it. Now, if you want to, you can be a perfectionist and cut these little pieces off here, these little green pieces, but that's all fine. So the next thing we need to do is come down here and cut this in half. And you see that there's no seeds in this part. The seeds are in this part here. And so all we're gonna do is flip it over, kind of like how we would do candy yams. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is cut these into cubes. And we don't have to cut this down super small because we're gonna put this into our pressure cooker. And our pressure cooker is going to turn this into a very tender product that we can then blend later. So we wanna do the same thing we did to the other one, the other half of the, the squash. I'm gonna come in and take my time, my really sharp knife. And that's our, that's our seeds. So let's take that to the side, come back, take our knife again, and come in and just take our time. So we just wanna come in here and, and peel the rest of our squash. And this is where the boning knife makes it super easy because it can handle the contours. You can either come in here, kind of work your way back up around that bulb. We've got a peeled squash. So the last step here is to remove these seeds. So I'm gonna flip it over so I have a firm surface. get a spoon and come in here and just remove these seeds. You can actually save these seeds and, and roast the seeds and make them into a snack. So much of what you do with roasted pumpkin seeds. So 
So we've got to finish preparing the base of our soup so that we can put it into the pressure cooker, into our instant pot. I've got some chicken stock and I'm going to just pour in enough to almost cover my butternut squash, but not, in, not completely. Because what happens is we can adjust the amount of liquid in here after we make the soup and we puree it, but we can't take it out if we put too much in. Next, we'll add a little bit of salt, but once again, we can adjust this after, sprinkle in some pepper. We're gonna add in some accent. But once again, we don't wanna to be too heavy handed because we can adjust this afterwards. We're gonna put in a whole kitchen, a whole chicken bouillon cube. We wanna put in some garlic powder. So our last thing to add in is our onion. And once again, we don't have to break this down super small because we're gonna steam all of this until it becomes very tender. And then we're gonna blend it all together to make our final, our final finished soup. So here's our instant pot. Depending on the model you have of pressure cooker or the type of pressure cooker you have, you may have different options. But on my Instant Pot, I like the meat and stew option. And I'm gonna set this for 30 minutes because I want that squash and that onion and all the ingredients in there to be really tender. And so I prefer the pressure to be high pressure. And then I actually have to go up here and make sure that I've got my pressure cooker in the seal position. And once it's there, we're good to go. Okay, so our butternut squash soup has finished cooking in the pressure cooker. I'm gonna open up my Instant Pot and I'm gonna puree the soup with my stick blender. If you don't have a stick blender, you can use a regular blender, but you just wanna be careful using a regular blender because there can be an explosion because of the hot soup. So just make sure you put a little bit in, blend it, a little bit more, blend it, a little bit more, and blend it. So I wanna show you guys what this looks like. So this is our butternut squash soup. As you can see, everything is really tender. The butter and the squash, the onions. And now all we've gotta do is blend this together until we get it to the consistency and the texture that we like. the perfect texture that's what we want to see right there all right so the final thing we want to do is plate up our beautiful soup we want to finish this with a little bit of heavy cream that we've had you can add the cream into the soup if you wanted to or you can just come and finish it on the very top. I'm gonna add a sprig of rosemary as a garnish. And that is our butternut squash soup. Okay guys, it's time for the taste test. This has a wonderful texture. Oh my goodness. Mm. So the thing I love about butternut squash soup made this way is that you get this rich, sweet flavor from the butternut squash. And then you've got these wonderful aromatics in there with the garlic. Uh, with the spices, the salt and the pepper, um, uh, with the chicken bouillon cube, the chicken broth we used to start the soup with. And then you got this nice velvet finish that we add from the cream. So it's super good, guys. This soup is super easy to make. You saw how easy it was to make a butternut squash soup at home. I hope you guys try it. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful fall recipe. Once again, I'm Jameson and this is how I cook. Hit that subscribe button on your way out and turn on those notifications. It really does help my new channel.
appreciate you guys. I'm getting back to this soup. This is amazing. Mm. So fall, so good. <laughs>